Hello everyone, welcome back and today I'm actually doing a live commentary on the PlayStation 4 in first person mode. This is absolutely awesome. I'm going to be showing off, you know, some of the first person gameplay aspects and, you know, kind of what it looks like in first person when holding weapons and driving around and things like that. So we have some awesome gameplay for you guys. Once again, a live commentary. So we do apologize in advance if any mistakes are made. And let's get straight into this. As you can see, we have just literally swam in from the old Los Santos to the new one. And we're going to go ahead and get straight into this. So as you can see, I'm in first person now holding a, a MG. Looks pretty awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and show off my Bugatti Veyron. This is actually a golden one um, I believe this is metallic pure gold and we have a secondary of matte black so this thing is awesome I actually have a neon kit on this as well uh, with a neon arc uh, I believe it's a neon golden shower I believe is the color on this I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to the Los Santos customs here shortly uh, but here's what it looks like inside it looks absolutely awesome and uh, this is what the baguette looks like inside and kind of behind and things like that so we're gonna go ahead and give this a test drive as you can see now I'm not really good with the handling with this shit it takes a little while to get used to when driving this and uh, what I do suggest to you guys as well before you do anything actually when you're playing this is go straight into your settings I may make a separate video on this kind of discussing all of the control schemes but in first person mode what you guys need to f straight away do as soon as you get the game is uh, go ahead and change the first person control type to standard FPS because uh, the normal control type you know normal GTA controls definitely don't feel right when trying to play in first person with standard FPS it feels like you're playing Call of Duty in first person so uh, change your control scheme to that and of course uh, you're gonna you know you're gonna be you're gonna have a better time so as you can see driving around here now and uh, I'm not a very good driver guys once again so we're gonna go ahead and try to test drive this uh, we are actually in online as well uh, we're still using the online session we have quite a few people here um, on dynamic TD uh, we're gonna go ahead and see what they're doing actually so uh, without crashing into people hopefully so I'm going to take this down to the Los Santos Customs now and I'm having a hard time driving because once again my driving skills are pretty goddamn bad and um, there doesn't seem to be many players around this area. Once again I'm checking around and I can't really see, there's a lobby of like, there's a good amount of players in here but there's no one, you know, usually online in, you know, the last gen versions is people sitting outside of the goddamn Los Santos Customs. So we're going to take this into Los Santos Customs, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the neon kit because you can't really see in game time too much. And, you know, it definitely stands out a lot more in nighttime, which I may show you guys a quick clip right now of it showing in nighttime. And you can also see it as well going into the Los Santos Customs. So, as you can see, here is the neon glow on the vehicle itself. I'm going to show off a few more vehicles as well in the video. But it looks absolutely awesome, in my opinion. Of course, I've gone with the golden shower look to kind of match up with the golden car itself. And uh, how you actually get to this is you go down to the light section in Los Santos Customs. And from there, uh, there is actually a neon kit option, as you guys can see. And the first thing you guys need to do is go to neon layout. And from there, you do get kind of options. It does cost quite a bit of money um, but essentially you can choose from front back sides front and back uh, front and sides back and sides and front back and sides like the haircut uh, but essentially that's what it looks like you have front back and sides and of course uh, that will put neon lights all around your vehicle then for the colors here is kind of the list of the colors you have white blue electric blue mint green lime green yellow golden shower which is the one I went with orange red pony pink and hot pink and purple and the last one, which is actually black light, and I was saying and a lot there. So a uh, black light, a uh, black light, or yeah, black light. I'm saying it right. Is essentially la the last one you can unlock, and it costs the most. I'm not entirely sure why, but it is definitely an awesome color blue, a uh, kind of tinted purple, I guess you could say, and uh, definitely looks awesome. But because of the color of the car, I'm going to go with a neon. Well, not a neon. I'm going to go with a uh, golden shower. And of course, there isn't really any more customization options at the moment. I haven't actually downloaded the update yet. The update hasn't rolled out. So we don't have any of the new weapons yet, which is kind of a downside, uh, which really annoyed me because people on the Xbox and even on the PlayStation, I don't understand how they've got the new weapons yet because the update hasn't rolled out for me. Uh, I transferred my character over as normal, so I really should have uh, the hatchet and the railgun. And unfortunately, I cannot show you guys in this video, uh, I believe, until the update rolls out. But once again, getting back out, you know, in the vehicle, driving around in first person, uh, definitely looking awesome. So. So what I'm actually going to show you guys now is kind of the shooting and what it looks like. So as you can see, we're just getting out of the vehicle there. And uh, unfortunately, you know, in online, the phone doesn't pull out like it does in single player. In single player, when you press up on the phone, uh, it will actually kind of pull it out in your hand. And you better see it on your hand and interact with it a bit more. And uh, what's funny about this game as well is the selfies you can actually take now. The selfies, uh, they've tried to make it realistic with the selfies. As you can see here, you can kind of pull different faces. And it looks really funny. They've made it so it kind of... You're trying to pull a really, an actual real selfie as you can see, so it uh, looks pretty awesome. 
you can pull up a bunch of different expressions with this and uh, you know, it looks pretty awesome. So getting into kind of what the, the guns look like, I guess you could say, we have the Combat MG here, we have the pistol. Uh, not too many guns to choose from, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to the ammunition here in a second and I kind of go over what the weapons look like. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the ammunition store and I believe a guy's chasing me in a jet right now and I've just crashed, God damn it. I'm gonna go ahead and exit first person mode. Is he chasing me down? I can see him on the minimap. Oh, there he is. Oh, God damn it. All right, so I'm going to try to go to the ammunition because I clearly don't have enough weapons. I have like three weapons and I want to kind of showcase. Yeah, he is definitely trying to come after me. Um, but I want to try and showcase, uh, you know, a few of the weapons for you guys. And unfortunately, I'm driving really bad, but unfortunately, um, I don't have the update yet. And for some reason, I don't understand how people have got the hatchet and the railgun yet, but I've seen images and hopefully this guy doesn't gun me down. But I've seen images of the hatchet and the railgun actually going around and I'm like, how the hell... The people have these it's not in single player it's not in multiplayer for me and i'm not entirely sure if i have to download some update i've transferred my character as normal but i don't have the weapons at the moment as you guys can see we just have like the numb weapons which is the heavy shotgun which i'm going to go ahead and purchase and i'm going to purchase a few more weapons as well kind of show off the iron sights for them and uh well, kind of show off a few of them so i believe do i have a minigun i'm not entirely sure i'm just going to purchase ammo for everything and um the mgs Purchase a few of the weapons. These snipers don't really have an iron sight, but I will show off kind of what they look like in first person. I'm gonna go ahead and buy an AK here as well, and um, purchase a few more weapons. So I'm gonna kind of stock it up on ammo. Hopefully this guy doesn't gun me down as soon as I get out of the store. And I'm gonna try and take him down. He seems like he was trying to take me out. I'm not entirely sure, but he's definitely getting gunned down out of there anyway if I can, so. All right, so I've just purchased a bunch of weapons. I got gunned down by like three different people outside of the uh, ammunition. I'm gonna cut that out because it was screaming. Uh, but essentially, you know, I'm gonna try and show off some of the gameplay of what the weapons actually look like. So, uh, as you can see, you know, normally holding weapons, you actually have like a normal stance. You hold, kind of holster the weapon towards your chest and uh, kind of point the gun upwards. Now, of course, when you're running, you get that kind of running effect as if you're holding a weapon realistically. So, uh, that's pretty awesome. And of course, when you're aiming down sides, each weapon does have uh, individual iron sights. I don't really like the AKs one, as you can see here is what the AK looks like. Uh, kind of reminds me of an M1 Grand, but hold on, is this... Oh, no, 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 right, she just died anyway, but uh, essentially this is what it looks like when you're aiming down sights, it's pretty awesome. Definitely kind of changes the way uh, we play G10. I feel like it's going to change up the weapon balance because uh, usually you'd have like overpowered weapons and I feel as though this first person mode uh, may actually change that. So we're trying to, what the hell is going on with him? We're trying to shoot some people up just to kind of show you guys what it actually looks like. And uh, here is the MG. Now, I actually really like the MG iron sights, as you can see. Here is the MG's iron sights. Uh, this is one of my favorite iron sights. And unfortunately, guys, once again, I don't have the update. I would love to show you guys what the railgun looks like. And I'd actually love to see what the railgun looks like as well when shooting it. So uh, that's going to be in another video later today. I believe when the update does roll out, I'm going to go ahead and I show you guys what that looks like. Now, here is the big one. Here is the RPG. And uh, this has an awesome iron sight as well. There's actually some police here. We're going to go ahead. I uh, try and take them out. I need to watch out behind me as well. God damn it. Where are they? There they are. So this is kind of what the RPG looks like. Uh, definitely looking awesome. And this game, guys, I cannot comprehend how good this game actually is. Like, I didn't expect it to be this good. I thought, you know, first person mode is definitely going to be great. But not this good. Like, this is awesome. It, it just makes the game feel a lot better. Even single player now. I've played single player. Uh, but I'm going to do a walkthrough on that again. Because it just feels so good to play. And kind of, um, you know, go over and things like that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some more uh, footage from inside of different vehicles. We're going to go ahead. Here is a buffalo. God damn it, don't run me over. All right, so he's I'm going to go ahead and shoot her out of the vehicle. And uh, get back in here. So I'm going to show off a few more vehicles here in a second. I just want to get out of this area and kind of call the police off me. Because they are kind of being a bit hectic right now. So, so here is my garage looking pretty terrible. I told you guys not to expect much. And this is uh, what I actually have currently in in the garage. I actually have a, I believe this is the modded, oh this is actually the modded version of this vehicle. Um, and their first person in garages looks awesome. I can actually show you guys like vehicles, uh, you know, a lot better. Of course we have, I believe, a modded Weasel News van as well. And we also have a bicycle in the garage as well. Uh, let me see if I can do bunny hops on this in first person. Can I do bunny hops? Oh, we're actually, we're traveling around the garage. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even know. The patch, the, the patch this on the, uh, the Xbox 360, you couldn't do this anymore. So, I mean, I don't know what's going on. Let me try this in third. As you can see now, I'm just moving around the garage in on a bicycle. So it's pretty awesome to have a bike in your garage just to mess around with friends and uh, show your friends this kind of weird thing. If you do, if you did manage to get one of these in your garage before, uh, I'm pretty sure that's not going to work now. 
But um, essentially, here's the other vehicles. I have the Sultan. This is probably one of the only good vehicles I have in this garage is the Sultan. And uh, on this account in general, I do have another account, which I will show you guys my full garage on that account. It's full of awesome rare vehicles. And uh, this one is just kind of a... Um, Terrible garage that I don't really care too much about, I guess you could say. But I'm going to show you guys the insides of the Sultan. Now, this vehicle is one of my favorite vehicles in the game, period. This is awesome. I love this vehicle. I, I think it has a neon, as you can see there, it does have the black light, which is the last neon underglow, remember? And um, this is the Sultan with the black light neon underglow, so... Looks awesome, I'm going to go ahead and drive this out of my garage. Um, I might actually take a trip down to the submarine and try and have a look with the submarine. I don't believe there's any animals online uh, at the moment or underneath the water at the moment at least um, until the update comes out I believe. I'm still not sure about that. Uh, but at the moment online is not too good until the update comes out tomorrow because I don't have any of the new vehicles to show you guys. I don't have any of the new weapons to show you guys. Uh, so I can't show you guys too much until that update comes out tomorrow. So just now this is kind of pre-recorded and I'm going to be showing you guys all of that awesome stuff in a video coming today. And once again guys there is going to be loads of videos coming to you guys today and let me go and fast pass in here real quick and uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys some awesome stuff so uh, stay tuned on the channel it's probably gonna be like six or seven videos or something like that and I may even do a live stream as well so stay tuned for that as well so I'm gonna leave it there guys this is kind of the pre commentary after the live com and uh, hope you guys did enjoy this little live commentary I wanted to kind of go ahead and I uh, show you guys gameplay of you know the vehicles in first person more than a few of the guns I know I could have showed a lot more uh, but I essentially just wanted to show off quite a bit for you guys as soon as possible now there is going to be loads more content being uploaded to this channel every single day guys I'm talking around three or four videos for like at least four days in a row so stay tuned on the channel around an hour after this video or an hour and a half after this video there is going to be a brand new one and there's going to be loads loads more content coming to you guys uh, later today so remember this is actually being recorded on the sunday and that uh, it will be uploaded on the monday which is today if you're watching this today so hope you guys did enjoy this little live commentary something new to the channel i haven't actually done a live commentary before and let me know down in the comments down below if you maybe want to see another one of these in the future as well so with that being said guys if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like down below your support is always greatly appreciated on the channel and with that being said i will see you all in about an hour and a half with a brand new video